Hi, this is Johnny Shell with SGIA, and here's today's Tech Tip Tuesday. In today's Tech Tip, I want to talk about the two main graphic applications that are used, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator, and what their primary use is for. So here we're in Adobe Photoshop, and I've got my nice red truck artwork with my red truck yellow letters all set and ready to go. Let's take a look at the image size and you'll see that it's 14 inches by just over 12 inches at 300 pixels per inch. And so what that means is if I zoom in you'll actually see the pixels start to appear. And there's 300 pixels per inch both vertically and horizontally. So that's great for raster graphics like this truck where I've got vignettes, you know, in the shadow areas here and things like that. But what they're not good for is hard-edged graphics like the text down here at the bottom. If I zoom in on that, you can see the jaggy starting to appear. And when that prints out on film or onto a computer to screen device, uh, chances are those are going to show up. So bitmap images are resolution dependent, meaning they are dependent on the resolution of the file. I've got another example of the red truck here. It's at 150 dpi. And it, you can see at 100% it looks very, very similar to the 300 dpi. It's hard to tell. But when I zoom in, you can actually start to see the pixels and the jaggies a little sooner versus when I zoom in at the 300 dpi, how long it takes before the jaggies kind of show up. So you can see the difference there. And then the last example here is at 96 dpi and you, you can really tell a difference there between uh, the jaggies on the edge. So Photoshop is great for bit, uh, raster graphics like this truck but it doesn't do so well with hard edge graphics like clip art or text. For text we want to use Adobe Illustrator and here's my here's my red truck uh, with my red truck lettering and if I zoom in on the red truck lettering you'll notice that the hard edge stays nice and smooth. It doesn't raster or stair step. So I'm zoomed all the way in now and still very crisp, sharp edges here. And you can actually see the bitmap image in the back where the pixels are starting to show. So that's what a vector application is good for when you need hard edge graphics, for example, clip art or in this case, text. Now I mentioned clip art. We come over to our clip art here. And these are the kinds of things that are very easily done in a vector application. And you can see as I zoom in, they stay nice and crisp with sharp edges. And so that's today's tech tip.